team i hope you are all well i have a couple of very precarious piles here of books um this is an incredibly giant haul and my camera is already flashing so success for that um i have a whole bunch of books here that have been gifted to me this is going to be over the month of january and half of february as well so i have a whole bunch of books here that have been gifted to me i've got a stack of books from publishers um there's a another stack here that's been gifted a stack that i've bought and then i have two great big bags of books as well that i bought while i was with jade uh pris and gav as well the other week and then i have a waterstones book that i'm going to start with and also my Alcrate junior box as well um so i am going to start with these i know exactly what this is i'm so bloody excited that it's finally come late than everybody else typically uh but <gasps> da, 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 da. it finally came i'm so excited um i've been waiting a hot minute for this to turn up i'm very very excited indeed it is house of sky and breath which is the second book in the crescent city series if you didn't know by sarah j mass look at those end papers of hunt obsessed so pretty um and i'm very very excited to read this one this is a freaking huge I cannot wait. Oh God, it's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> um, and I am obsessed. This this is a fantasy series. Uh, I'm not going to go into what this book is about because there's way too many books on this haul. And I just kind of want to get through it, to be honest, because I think it's going to take a hot minute, especially with an unboxing as well. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about giving this one a read soon. I cannot wait to pick it up and I'm so glad that it's finally come. It's just so pretty. Very, very excited indeed. And then we have our Crate Junior box, which I'm sure I've already opened. Oh, maybe January's was just really, really late then. So this is February's our Crate Junior box. I do have a code for our Crate Junior, so if you would like to use it, you can do. Our Crate Junior is a subscription service for young readers, but also those of us ad adults that love to read middle grade, like myself. I have a whole middle grade shelf here. Um, and this month, we have Finders Keepers for February. This is a little booklet that will tell you all about what's inside your box, uh, an interview with the author of the book inside the box as well, and then a creativity corner and some other little bits and the photo challenge too i will leave a link to our crate june in the description box down below so if you want to check them out you can do i will also leave my code down there as well uh so the first thing i see is a bubble bath i reckon uh liquid gold a golden bubble elixir it's been wrapped nicely as well just in case it leaks which is great nice little bo bottle there of a bubble bath do you love a good bu bath and um, then we have this little box and this is a city of ember hand warmer Ooh, nice love a good hand warmer i always get cold hands they are cute very nice and it does give you instructions on the back on exactly how to use said hand warmer as well kids make sure you do this with an adult don't mess about with it otherwise um then we have an arion c um book what is this called sleeve <laughs> struggles an arian c book sleeve which is so so cute i love the arian c series by thomas taylor it's such a good series and i absolutely adore it then we have an envelope and in here oh nice gadgets and gizmos a plenty comb very very nice comb indeed my my hair clearly needs a good brush um i've been out in the wind this morning uh so nice little comb then we have a finders keepers little book which is really really cute and inside there's lots of activities this book belongs to oh a um search and find thing with a list of things that you could need to search for and then you could color it in later a word search um plan your own treasure hunt i might take this tomorrow i'm looking after my nephew so um do a little map he could color this in tomorrow i think he would love that an indoor scavenger hunt these are such good ideas i love that an outdoor one lots of different things a maze to fill in and stuff very nice indeed then we have what i think is a sticker 
Place this Moana inspired reusable rainbow catcher window cling on your favorite window that receives direct sunlight and watch your room light up with rainbows. <gasps> Adorable. And it says shiny like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck on it. Very, very nice. I love that. And then we are into our book, which is, oh, that explains the comb. It's called A Comb of Wishes by Lisa Stringfellow and it looks like this. We have a signed book plate for the book. We have a collectible card again, like we had in the last box. This must be a new thing that they're doing. We have a dear reader letter from the author. And then we have the book itself, which is very, very pretty indeed. Um, very nice. And this says, Crick, crack, this is a story. Keller used to see beauty in the sea glass she collected with her mother on the Caribbean beaches of St. Rita. But since her mother's death, Keller has felt every bit as broken as the glass that is known as a mermaid's tears. When Keller and her friend Lissy stumble across an ancient looking comb in a coral cave, Keller knows that she should leave it alone. And yet with everything she has lost and the strange pull she feels to the comb, she can't help but bring it home with her. Far away deep in a cold ocean, the mermaid or... Ophidia, Ophidia can feel that her comb has been taken. Despite her hatred of all humans, her magic requires that she make a bargain, the comb in exchange for a wish. Keller knows that what she wants most in her heart for is for her mother to be alive, but with a wish that big will but a wish that big will exact an even bigger price. Oh, interesting. It sounds like it deals with grief a lot. Nice little book though. I love this. I love that the way that our crate managed to weave um, all of the bits into the box as well. So this makes sense now and the comb makes sense and stuff as well. And obviously it's set at sea. So, well, it's got a mermaid in it. So um, the sea stuff makes sense as well. Eerie on sea and whatnot. And the next month for March uh, is Real Friends. This looks cute as heck. And I'm so excited. Um, if you are already subscribed to Our Crate Junior, you do not need to do anything. Your box will just arrive. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to learn more about Our Crate Junior, again, I will leave a link to them in the description box below. Feel free to check them out and use my code if you would like to do so. But yeah, thank you to Our Crate Junior for sending that over. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and now let's get into the books that have been hauled. So we're going to go with this stack first, which is a stack of books from publishers. I've ended up with a whole bunch of books from publishers. I've been incredibly lucky. So thank you to every single publisher that has ever worked with me, but to every publisher that's gifted me something over the last couple of months. So I've had a lot from a mix of different publishers. These two have come from Pittacus, which is a uh, publishing house part of Little Brown. Um, and I do love to work with them. So I did get a copy of A Good Girl Complex by Al Kennedy, which is one of my most anti anticipated books of the year. I did start it. I got to page 54 and then put it down. I've been having a really weird couple of months. Um, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I have been having some problems, some family issues and stuff. Uh, we had a death in the family and it's been a long couple of months. So... Uh, I've been up and down with my reading, but I'm really excited about getting back to this one. This is a romance and I'm really looking forward to picking it up again soon. And then also from Pitticus, I have The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I have one other book for, by Lauren Asher on my wish, on my shelves and it is Throttled, which is like an F1 romance. Uh, I believe this is like a billionaire romance and I'm really looking forward to it. It sounds great. So I do need to pick this up really, really soon. I don't need to, but I really want to. Um, so I do have a selection of books from uh, Harper Collins. So this one is Count Your Lucky Stars by Alexandria Belfleur, which is the third in the Written in the Stars series. I was sent this one by the publisher, but also by Pride Book Tours because I am reading and reviewing it. In fact, I need to post my review today. Entirely forgot about that. But today is the day that I need to post my review. So I have read and reviewed this one. Really enjoyed it. Gave it four stars. Would recommend. Um, I also got The Kindred by Alicia Dow, which I'm again part way through 38 pages in i'm not that far in at all i probably will restart it it is a sci-fi it's queer again um 
really really looking forward to picking this one up because i really really enjoyed the sound of stars sound of stars by alicia dow which i read last month and i had a great time with it so i am looking forward to giving this one a read and then from harper 360 i got we were kings by court stevens which is a thriller and i'm really looking forward to picking this one up in march hopefully this one comes out in the uk on the 31st of march um in elsewhere it's earlier i think it's already out february 15th in the states i think but in the in the uk 31st of march so keep your eyes open for that one then i have lease on love by fallon ballard which is a romance i did a giveaway for this one over on my instagram the giveaway is now closed i have picked two winners thank you to the publishers for reaching out and wanting to work with me on this one i had a really good time doing that giveaway so thank you to headline eternal for reaching out with me for that one i had a great time hope to work with you again soon hopefully and um, then another one that i'm on pride book tours for is a parallel hells by leon craig and this publisher for this one is scepter who are a house of hodder and stoughton and i'm looking forward to this one this is um queer short horror stories i believe and i'm really looking forward to reading this one i can't remember when my review for this one is going up but i'm fairly certain it's in march sometime so looking forward to this one keep your eyes open on my re reading vlogs if you want to know more about that one and then i did get miss rule an arc of miss rule by heather walter come through this comes out in april april oh no 10th of may sorry it says april on the thing uh thank you to del ray for sending me this one i did get an arc of the first one in this series which is malice um last year and i absolutely loved it i bloody really 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 enjoyed it so i'm very looking forward to picking up this one and continuing on it is a darkly magical fairy tale retelling with an empowering queer love story at, at its heart from an exciting new lgbtq plus voice in ya crossover fiction so i really did enjoy the first one in this one and i'm looking forward to continuing on it says sleeping beauty reimagining um but queer and it was great and i would recommend so looking forward to continuing on with that one so thank you to del ray for sending me an arc of that um so then let's go through the gifted books and then i can get on i can get to my bags and this pile from me <laughs> so i have a couple books here from tracy who is one of my patrons and one of my lovely lovely friends and i adore you so much tracy you do the most all of the time but thank you so so much for all of these and um, because of the shitty month and a half that i've had so far this year um people have been incredibly kind and um just been day to day trying to perk me up and it has been working and i cannot thank you all enough for the kind messages um gifts um even just you know a quick emoji in my inbox or whatever you've just been incredibly amazing and i couldn't have gotten through this time without you all so thank you so so much um but tracy thank you so much for these i do have a shiver of snow and sky by lisa ludek which i read while i was at jade's actually for polathon and i really enjoyed it i gave it four if i gave her stars it would have been four and a half but i gave it four stars it was great but on top of that she also gifted me a storm of ice and stars she said that i couldn't have one without the other so thank you so much tracy because i really do want to get to this one this year um, and then she also sent me without merit by colleen hoover which i'm just loving adding to my colleen hoover selection at the moment so thanks for this one trace as well and also rosalind palmer takes the cake by alexis hall which i'm really looking forward to reading because i'm reading uh boyfriend material hopefully at some point this month by alexis hall and i'm really looking forward to it and i know that husband material comes out later on this year so looking forward to getting into alexis's writing and i've heard incredible things about this one so i'm really looking forward to it so thank you tracy for those four from victoria i did get a whole bunch of gifts um that were like a delayed christmas present if you like our christmas presents got lost in the post mine gavs and jade's they all got lost in the post they all went missing so uh victoria put together a new box each for us and they had some gorgeous personalized homemade gifts from victoria but she also chucked a book in mine and jade's as well and it was dark blade by steve feesey and um she said that she thinks that i'm going to enjoy this one as well as jade so maybe me and jade could do a buddy read so it sounds great and i'm really looking forward to it i reckon it's a fantasy uh, and on the back it's actually blurbed by sebastian de castell which is freaking awesome so i hadn't noticed that until just now brimming with magic swordplay and hero heroism 
yes please um so thank you so much for victoria for that one um from pris you will see in a second that i bought uh, the first one in this series but pris did buy me us by serena bowen and l kennedy because the shop that i bought him from was a um indie bookstore and they didn't have us in and I, I I couldn't get it off the UK Amazon. And she was like, well, I'm going to try and see if I can find it on the German one, on the Dutch Amazon. So she did. She found it. And then she got it sent to my house. And it came yesterday. So thank you so much, Pris, for this one. You didn't have to at all. But I love you with the whole of my heart. Thank you so much, Angel. Real looking forward to reading this one. I have read him, but I haven't read us yet. So final book support group. Here I come. <laughs> and then I have a handful here from Jade. Um, so I do have The Lightning Struck Heart by TJ Clune. She's been banging on at me for well over a year now to read this one. So it's finally on my um, shelves and I'm really looking forward to it. This has got like a queer unicorn in it or something and I'm just fucking really excited about it. Uh, and they've, the, the note just says hee 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 from Jade Bradley. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that one. And then just a couple of books that she handed over to me. She was unhauling them and she knows I'm interested in them. So um, she handed them over when I was down at hers last week. And one of them is Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. She's got a different set of these. So uh, she got the hardbacks or something coming i can't remember what she said but she's got gotten rid of this one so this is the first in that series i believe which i'm looking forward to giving a read hopefully at some point and then also the hardback of the guinevere deception by kirsten white if you remember in my last haul i think around christmas and birthday at time i was gifted um the second one in this series which is the camelot betrayal and then i did pre-order the uh third one which is the something curse or whatever it's called um so now i have the whole series and i can continue on with the series which is great because i did really enjoy this one i love an arthurian retelling and i really liked this one so looking forward to both of those thank you jade for gifting me both of those i really do appreciate it babe you are the best um, and then carrying on with some gifts. So I do have Hang the Moon by Alexandria Belfleur. And this one was gifted to me by Erin. Thank you so much, Erin, for gifting me this one. I've read this one. It's the second in the uh, Written in the Stars series. And I gave it four stars. It was really good. Would recommend. Then I have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, which again, I have read previously, but I really wanted a physical copy because I've been starting to collect Riley Sager's books and I really wanted a physical copy. And I really, really, really did enjoy this one. I think this might be my favourite of all of them so far. Um, and this one was gifted to me by Aslau. So thank you so much. And it's also their favourite book as well. So thank you so much, Aslau, for that one. Um, and then I have three, I'm fairly certain, from Amanda is that right yes from amanda so thank you amanda for all of these three i have roomies by christina lauren which i've been really looking forward to getting into i've been told several times that this might be my favorite like that people think that this might be my favorite christina lauren book so far so i'm really interested in reading this one because i have really enjoyed a lot of christina lauren books so far so I am hyped about this one. I did love Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. I think that might be one of my favourite ones so far. And I'm really mad at myself for unhauling the book, to be perfectly honest. And then I also got When You Trapped, Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller, which I'm really looking forward to. This is a middle grade. Um, and I've heard both Kayla from Books and Lala and also Lexi um, from Alexandra, Alexandria Rosalind. Sorry, Lexi. From Alexandria Rosalind both love this one. So I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. I've heard incredible things. Um, and then I also got Heart Song, uh, Heart Song sorry, by TJ Clune, which is the the second third book in the wolf song series because i think the second one's raven song which is in here um so this is the third book in the wolf song series and i'm really looking forward to continuing on with that series because i've really enjoyed wolf song so thank you amanda for those then i have three books from holly 
thank you so much holly for these um i have the fastest way to fall by denise williams i have another book from denise williams which is how to fail at flirting which was sent to me by pittacus last year and i didn't get round to it which i'm really mad about but um i do have this one now as well and i'm really excited about this one because i've heard such good things from this author in general but about this book as well so i'm looking forward to that one i've got the black hawks by david rag which i have read and i gave it four stars and i'm really looking forward to reading this second one so i'm really looking forward to this one uh no i have read this one i'm really looking forward to the next one but thanks holly for this one as well and then i have raven song which i was just going on about by tj clune which is the second book in the wolf song series um thank you to holly for putting this one on my tbr i really appreciate it uh speaking of the second one in oh hang on okay so these two have been from cc so thank you cc for both of these we have the righteous i was just talking about the black hawks this is the second one in the series by david rag and i am really looking forward to this one it's just a duology so again final book support group come at me really looking forward to this one then we've got vespertine by margaret roger rogerson and i'm a bit on the fence about this one i'm excited about it but i'm also nervous about it i think the premise of it sounds fantastic but i didn't like sorcery of thorns um you will note that there is an enchantment of ravens in here as well jade doesn't think i'm gonna like it but i really wanted to give it a go regardless because i've heard a lot of people say that they didn't like sorcery of thorns but loved an enchantment of ravens so i'm kind of hoping that i'm in that band a little bit and that i love this one so we'll see but thank you cc for gifting me that one then i have no exit by taylor adams and this one was gifted to me by amy thank you so much amy for gifting me this one i have read this one i gave it four stars i read it for polathon it was really really good and i would recommend it is a thriller um isolation thriller and i would recommend it. it's very very good then i have a natural history of dragons by marie brennan from fran so thank you so much fran for gifting me this one it was an absolute pleasure to meet you while i was at jade's last week um and i'm really really excited to have this one it sounds really really interesting so i'm really intrigued by it and i have heard incredible things so thank you so much fran for this one you didn't have to but thank you my love then i have layla by colleen hoover which was gifted to me by kim thank you so much kim for gifting me this one um again another colleen hoover book to add to my forever growing colleen hoover pile and i'm really looking forward to picking this one up i have heard incredibly mixed things about this one i know that a lot of people are like middle of the road with this one and they think it's probably the worst one that she's done i think anyway so far so but i do still want to read it though it sounds very very interesting so i am looking forward to it so thank you kim for adding this one to my tbr then I have Recommended For You by Laura Silverman, which was gifted to me by Kitty. I've got absolutely no idea where I originally saw this. It probably was from Hayley, Hayley at Bookland, in Bookland. Um, I think it was probably from her channel, but I think this is like a YA romance, which in general, I'm trying to move away from why, well, not trying to move away from it, but I'm not picking it up as much usually but this one sounds really really interesting i think it's about a girl working in a bookstore and this guy comes in and she ends up talking to him about books or something um and i'm going to assume it's to do with recommending him books and he comes back or something i don't know but either way there's a bookshop in it that's the reason why i wanted to get it so thank you so much kitty for that one then we have Razorblade tears by sa cosby and this one was gifted to me by Stacy, thank you so much Stacy for this one it turned up and it was actually signed as well which i'm really buzzing about um i've had my eye on this one for a hot minute now and it was featured in a book of the month box and i've been so interested in reading it it's going to be a very very gripping story so really looking forward to reading this one so thank you so much Stacy, for uh, for sending me this one i really appreciate it then I have Well Met by Jen DeLuca, which was sent to me by B. Thank you so much, B, for sending me this one. I've heard such good things about this one, and I've heard such good things about the whole series, to be perfectly honest. The only thing that was putting me off a little bit was the fact that it's set at, like, a Renaissance fair, and I didn't think that would be up my street. But I'm really intrigued to give it a go, because I've heard great things. Christina Lauren have blurbed it on the front um samantha young on the back so i'm really looking forward to it so thank you so so much b for sending me this one i really appreciate it you are an angel thank you my love 
Then I have this massive brick of a book called One More Step, which is an anthology featuring a whole bunch of romance readers and it's got a bunch of romance book, uh, ro romance stories, sorry. And basically the only thing these stories have in common is their starting point. Each author showcased in this anthology was featured in the Bookworm Box charity during 2019. Each author has graciously donated their stories so that 100% of the profits from this anthology will be going to all the various charities um, the book worm box is able to support because of you the readers so basically i think um they had a f one first sentence and the idea was to just kind of roll with it and uh, that's what happened and i this ended up on my radar because there's a story in here from colleen hoover that's literally it so i'm really looking forward to this one thank you to janelle for, for gifting me this one um it's absolutely massive but i reckon what i'm going to end up doing is reading like a story at a time or something and getting through it that way but i'm really looking forward to it very excited so thank you so much janelle for gifting me with that one then we have another colleen hoover and this one is heart bones i've heard not a lot about this one i've got to be honest but the cover for it is absolutely stunning it's really important i show you like a close-up version because this bit you very rarely get a chance to see it properly and I just think it's so beautiful. This one's gifted to me by Eileen so thank you so much again for adding to my Colleen Hoover shelf. I'm very excited. Look how pretty it is. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to read this one. Thank you so much. Then we have The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Birchall, which was gifted to me by Claire. This ended up on my wish list because Tracy has put it in my Witch's Brew pot, which my top tier patrons get the chance to put a book into my pot and once a month I pick one of the books out and if your book is picked out, then you get to put another book in. And Tracy's book was the first book type book I picked out. Um, so she got a chance to put another book in and she wanted to put this one in. So she thinks that I'm going to absolutely love it. Sounds right up my street. Professional bride made it literally sounds like 27 dresses <laughs> and i love that movie so very excited about giving this one a read so thank you so much claire for gifting me this one and tracy for putting it on my radar in general then i have girls of fate and fury by natasha young which is the third and final book i think it's third and final book anyway it's the third book i don't know if it's the final i'm fairly certain it is in the girls of paper and fire series which i've really really enjoyed that series so far um thank you to steph barry for sending me this one i really do appreciate appreciate it my love again another book for the final book support group i reckon but i'm really looking forward to finishing this series out and giving it a good read then from the lovely Claire, a different Claire to the one I was just mentioning, I have Weather Girl by Rachel Lynn Solomon, which I'm really looking forward to. I have another book by Rachel Lynn Solomon on my shelves. Oh, We Can't Keep Meeting Like This. That's the one. I think that was gifted to me by Maddie while I was... um while I had COVID last year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Heard great things so far as well. Um, and it sounds fantastic. So it is a romance. And then I, she also sent me a Badger's Parting Gift by Susan Varley, which is a picture book, I believe. But it did say, her note said, uh, this beautiful children's story gave me comfort when I lost my nan. I hope it brings you a little comfort too. So sorry for your loss. Thank you so much, Claire, for adding this one in with The Weather Girl. Um, I really appreciate it. I haven't read it yet i've just not been brave enough to pick it up yet but um on the back it says badger's parting gifts provides young children with a means to understand grief which is incredible so thank you so much claire for sending me that one you didn't have to at all my love but thank you and then the final gifted book that i have i'm fairly certain that this is everything i can't fully remember because uh it's been a hot minute but the final gifted book i have is injection volume two which was gifted to me by harry so thank you so much harry for gifting me this one i really do appreciate it this is the second graphic novel in this series obviously it's injections volume two um which uh there has been an injection there's like a uh epidemic running wild or whatever it's a bit like zombies and stuff but not quite um why did i just have to open to that page then couple sex scenes going on um every time every time i open this book that's where i open it so thank you harry for gifting me with that one and then we're into the books that i bought myself so let's go through the ones that i bought while i was with jade pris and gav because otherwise i'll not be able to get to these bags again previously mentioned i did get a copy of him by serena bowen and l kennedy which i have read previously but i loved it so much and i'm obsessed with these covers uh because these are a new set of covers the originals look like this which i didn't mind but i love these covers i just think they're really really cool so very excited to have him and now also because of pris a copy of us which i'm really excited about 
so I got that in the indie bookstore and I'm trying to find the other books that I picked up from the indie bookstore so I can do the haul together for those. Um, so I have, oh yeah, and then this one as well. I, God, I forgot what I got. So this is actually a surprise for me as well. <laughs> so I also picked up The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the uh, special edition version. Who is this by again? I can't remember who these are by, but these are the special seasons edition by Thomas Nelson and this is a spring collection. Uh, I was always on and iron about whether or not to get this because I wasn't a huge fan of the purple, I've got to be honest, but I do think it's really, really pretty. And at the time I was told that it was £10 in the bookstore, but she ended up charging me more than that. It's fine. It's an India bookstore. I absolutely do not mind. Um, but yeah, I managed to pick that up, which I'm really, really excited about because I do love Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and I love Sherlock Holmes as well. So really looking forward to that one and then i also got we sold our souls by grady hendrix i didn't know that they were still doing hardback copies of this it turns out they are i did have a quick look on amazon afterwards which i regretted immediately but it's i'm not bothered it's fine this one does have the black sprayed edges i'm unsure if they come as standard but i'm not mad about it i've got to be honest um so yeah i did want to get a copy of this one it looks like this under the dust jacket as well so really happy i managed to pick up a copy of that as well wasn't specifically looking for it i just spotted it and i was like oh my god it's got sprayed edges blah 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 so and it's very rare i see it like in waterstones or anything so i was hyped uh, and then i got the sister who ate her brothers and other gruesome tales by jen campbell illustrated by adam de suaza suaza my apologies adam um i've seen this flitting about a lot especially in like october last year spooky season this is a illustrated uh like retell i don't know if it's retellings or just like stories essentially that's got really creepy illustrations and uh, just in general really creepy stories so i'm really looking forward to reading this one giving it a bash and seeing what the fuss is all about so i picked up that one while i was in the indie bookstore and the last book i got from the indie bookstore was an illustrated treasury of scottish folk and fairy tales by Teresa breslin and kate leeper um which i've seen ashley from a frolic through fiction with this one and also pris with this one as well because uh, i know she read this one to do loads of research for her book um, this has got gorgeous illustrations in it and it's got Scottish fairy tales and stuff um, and I do have some Scottish heritage in me so I'm, I always find Celtic and Scottish uh, folk tales, uh, folk lore and fairy tales very very interesting always 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 get dragged in by the Scottish and Celtic ones so really looking forward to giving this one a read it sounds fantastic so I'm glad I managed to get a copy of this one they also have scottish myth mythical creatures and scottish castle legends which i would be interested in and i think thomas will find this fascinating when he's growing up as well so really glad i got that and then i got a whole stack of books from that's not all of them actually that's a friggin lie a whole stack of books from waterstones as well <laughs> um but to the other book was that everything oh no hang on i'm not done let's try this way a whole stack of books from waterstones uh, i did get a book gifted to me by gav though when we after he just turned up at jade's um, and he gave me like a charm by l mcnichol which is l's third book um but it's also signed and um personalized which i'm so buzzing about so l if you see this i don't know why you would but if you do thank you so so much and gavin you are an absolute angel and i love you with the whole of my heart thank you you beautiful human being i'm so excited to give this one a read um so thank you so much and while i was at jade's i did end up getting a copy i was mooching around um I picked this up while I was in Waterstones, but it was there was a printing issue halfway through the book. They checked to see if they had another copy and they didn't. So I ended up getting a copy from Amazon while I was at Jade's and I got it delivered while I was at hers. But it was The Witcher, The Last Wish, the illustrated edition. I have read this and I loved it and I really wanted to get this copy because I didn't realise that this was even a thing. Um, but I'm really glad that it is and I'm really glad that I know about it now. But it's absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to give this a reread. I know that Sasha is involved with a witcher read-along at the moment so i might try and catch up with that 
I'm fairly certain this is the first first month that they're doing it and this is the first book so I might try and catch up I don't know I'm gonna see how I feel there's only like when I film this a week or so of the month left so we'll see but I'm really glad I managed to get a copy I did try and buy it from Waterstones but unfortunately it was damaged uh publishing issues so had to leave that one there and then I got the Tea Dragon Tapestry by Kay O'Neill which I'm really hyped about this is the third in this series and I've loved this series so far. So I'm glad I've managed to get a copy of this. They only had one copy of it and Pris was pretty bummed when she saw me with it because she wanted a copy as well. But um, unfortunately, it is what it is. I also got an Adat Dat Wood by Ruth Ware. I've been wanting to read some more Ruth Ware. I can't remember what I've read from her already. Oh, The Turn of the Key and One by One. Yeah. I also have The Lion Game up there as well. So I would like to read more from Ruth Ware and I wanted to get this copy. It's a very pretty copy. I do quite like this. So looking forward to that one. Thriller. I got Walhalla by Nikki May. This isn't the kind of book that I would normally pick up because I'm fairly certain that this is like literary fiction, which normally I don't. Not that I tend to stay away from it. I just don't tend to reach for it more than I would other genres like thrillers, horrors, uh romance fantasy etc but i did want to give this one a go because i've heard incredible things and it's absolutely beautiful um i was sucked in by the gorgeous gorgeous book to be fair um but i'm hoping that the story is just as gorgeous gorgeous it sounds very heavy but i'm i've heard incredible things sorry i'm looking forward to it but starfell willow moss and the lost day by dominique Valente. I've heard such good things about this one. I know that Emma raves about this book. She got Jade to read it and Jade absolutely loved it and Gabs loved it. So I ended up picking a copy up while I was in Waterstones and I know that Pris got a copy as well. And it's got the gorgeous sprayed edges. I would like to try and get the hardbacks if I can because I know that underneath the dust jackets they're gorgeous. But I would really like to give this one a read. So I reckon I'm going to love it. So I'm very excited about that one. Then I got The Amazing Mr. Blunden by Antonia Barber. I haven't heard of this. I've never seen it before. It just sounded really interesting. On the back, it says an enthralling ghost story with a time traveling twist, which, you know, sucked me right in. And it's not that long either. It is a middle grade. So looking forward to that one at some point. I also got Morju by Alex Phoebe, which is, I believe, a fantasy, epic fantasy. Gav had us all end up picking a copy up um, and I think we're going to do a buddy read of or a book club at some point. I've got no idea what's going on. But very excited. Thanks Gav for the wreck. The top line says God is dead. His corpse is hidden in the catacombs beneath Mordew. And we were all like, you know what? Yeah. Why the heck not? <laughs> and then the last book I got from Waterstones was 16 Horses by Greg Buchanan. Again, recommended by Gav. He said that this was Waterstones book of the month for the thriller section. And um, he said that it sounds in incredibly interesting. He wants to know my thoughts on it before he picks up a copy. Uh, but uh, again, it's something to do with 16 horse heads or something are all facing one way and it means something so i'm not sure what that means sounds very godfather-esque but i'm here for it so looking forward to giving that one a read and then the rest of the books that i bought myself are all here two of them were second hand so those were fate of the fallen by kel Cade, which is a fantasy series i believe um and i bought this from my friend amy uh, abby sorry i bought this from my friend abby um so thank you abby for letting me buy this one off you i am looking forward to it. it sounds really good and i believe the second one's not long since come out or is about to come out i'm not sure but i'm looking forward to it and then I also got Shipped by Meredith Tate. Again, YA looks quite young, but I am intrigued by the story. This is one of those stories in which um, two people hate each other in person, but online they're falling for each other. And it just sounds fascinating. I love that trope. I just think it's really, really interesting. So looking forward to that one. And then a bunch of books here that I have read a couple of them anyway. So I've got Where the Drowned Girls Go by Shauna Maguire. I gave this one four stars, really enjoyed it. This is the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh book in the Wayward Children series. And I did give this one four stars. Don't think I enjoyed this one as much as I've enjoyed the previous, but it's still got four stars anyway. Um, and I would recommend the series. Then I got Flower Crowns and Fear Some Things by Amanda Lovelace. This is a poetry collection and it's absolutely beautiful. I do love Amanda Lovelace's poetry collections. I'm 
fairly certain I gave this one four stars. I could be wrong, it might have been three, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless. It was very, very good, and I do enjoy her poetry. It's so good it sucked me in every single time um and there's always like a whole bunch of trigger warnings in the front as well she's very good at giving trigger warnings so would recommend if you're looking for simplistic easy poetry to get into would recommend um then i have nothing but black and teeth by cassandra car i really enjoyed this one i did spend a lot of time at the end of it thinking what in the hell was that i would have loved this to have been a bit longer i think cassandra's introduction into writing with this because i'm fairly certain this is their debut um possible um yeah i think this is their debut i'm not sure but i do wish that it was like 100 150 pages longer and there was a little bit more explanation and introduction into the characters a bit more character development if you like but it was very good for a for a novella horror it was good i think i gave it three stars if i remember correctly could be wrong about that if i am i will have put it here then I have The Family You Make by Jill Shalvis. This was a surprise. I was asked by a publishing, the publishing company, uh, Headline Turnal, if I wanted to review this. It would be an e-arc. I said yes. Uh, why the heck not? Never read anything by Jill Shalvis before. Had no idea that she has such a huge fucking backlist. But I read it and by God, did I love this book. It's going to be my most surprising book of the year. I'm already calling it right now. It's going to be my most surprising book of the year because it wasn't on my radar at all it is currently my favorite book of the year five stars through and through absolutely brilliant i bloody loved it i can't stop thinking about it it was so good and i cannot wait for the next one the second one in the series is coming out this year uh, later on this year so i would recommend if you love your romance but it had so many different tropes in it and it's fantastic i absolutely loved it so would recommend then i have far from the light of heaven uh, by Tade Thompson. I believe this is a sci-fi and arresting vision of humanity's future among the stars from a rising giant in sci-fi. Arthur C. Clarke, award winner Tade Thompson. Nice. Do you want to read some more sci-fi this year? So I have seen this flitting about a lot on Instagram. So this was a bookstagram made me do it type thing. Um, a curious beginning of Veronica Speedwell mystery by Dina Rayburn. Um, I have seen both Riley Marie and also Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte banging on about this series a lot recently. So I really wanted to give it a go. I believe there's a man in here that's got like an eye patch and all that good stuff on it. So I'm really, really excited. I think it's like a mystery, uh, like a cosy mystery type thing, but with a romance involved too. And I'm here for that. So very excited about that one. I got The Lies I... Uh, the Lies You Told, sorry, by Harriet Tice. I loved Harriet's um, debut, uh, Blood Orange. It was fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to reading more from her. And I know she's got another book coming out this year. So very excited about that one. If you're looking for thrillers, psychological thrillers, Harriet is very, very good indeed. Uh, as mentioned previously, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Wod Wodgerson. <laughs> All right, Jonathan Woss, uh, by Margaret Rogerson even. Um, again, already mentioned the fact that I didn't like Sorcery of Thorns and Jade doesn't think I'm gonna like this one, but I reckon that I'm gonna be in that pool of people that didn't like Sorcery of Thorns, but enjoy Enchantment of Ravens. Fingers crossed that's the case, and also Vespertine. Um, my pre-order of How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by KM Jackson came in. Really looking forward to this one. It sounds so good. I fucking love Keanu Reeves. Um, but in general, I think it's going to be a good time. My pre-order for a, a Flicker in the Dark, a Fricker, a Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham has come in to this cover. It's stunning. And I'm so excited about reading this one. Um, it sounds great. Thriller. Very, very hyped for it. Heard incredible things across the pond, so very excited. Another one that I've heard great things about across the pond, and another one that I've seen both Olivia and I think Ryla Murray's been reading this one, but probably a bunch of other people as well. I know Kayla from Books and Lala's recently read this one and absolutely freaking adored it. Ace Finley Donovan is Killing It by L. Cos Cosimano. Um, this is like a uh basically a mistaken identity a single mom is having a chat with her publisher publisher 
agent sorry a single mom is having a chat with her agent she's a writer and they're discussing her current work but they haven't given any context and a woman on the table over thinks that she is basically a hit man and slash well hit woman and uh basically leaves a note to see if finley donovan will take out her husband and i, I think it just goes from there and i think it gets carried away i'm very aware that the next one in the series has come out recently so looking forward to reading that one i've heard such good things i in fact i've heard nothing but good things then i've got the raven and the reindeer by t kingfisher i was supposed to be reading this for polathon and i did get 56 pages through but it's quite dense and i was struggling despite the fact that it's very short i was struggling i ended up putting it down i needed an audio book there's no audio for it so i'm hoping to come back to it at some point but we will see then I have The Bone Ships by RJ Barker, which I'm hoping to read before the end of the month um, for Cassidy's Book Club, which is the Batlist Book Club. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. It sounds fantastic. It is fantasy, obviously. Then I've got The Ice Whisperers by Helenka Stachera. I think I bought this in January. I could have bought it in December. I can't fucking remember at this point. But I have read this one. I gave it... I think I've gone back through my rating and I think it's come down to like a 3.5 but I did give it four initially it's fine if we had a good time I think more than anything I just enjoyed the reading experience I literally physically in the moment buddy read this with Jade we had one headphone in each and we were following along with one book and it was just great I think I just enjoyed the process of reading it more than the actual book but in general there were a couple of things that I found issues with but overall it was fine then my pre-order of Bitter by Kweke Meze came in. This is the next book. Not necessarily, I think it's a companion novel to Pet by Kweke Meze. Bitter is Pet's mother. Um, so I am looking forward to giving this one a read as well because I really enjoyed Pet. I think I gave Pet four stars. So would recommend in general Pet and, well, I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to assume it's going to be fantastic. Um, I would like to pick up more from a quick MSA in future as well. Then I got Duke Actually by Jenny Holiday, which is the second in the Princess Christmas Princess Princess Christmas something along those lines. I haven't read that one, but I have heard that they're companion novels and you can get away with reading this one without that one. And some people have DNF'd that one and come into this one and loved it. So I don't know what's going on. But I um, it I just love the cover of this one. It sounds fantastic and I'm really interested in reading it. Um, then I did get two books by the Toff, uh, Georgia Toffolo, uh, Meet Me in London and Meet Me in Tahiti, which I think is book one and three in the series. They were on a deal along with um, the Harriet Tice book, The Lies You Told. Um, it was like three for a fiver or something, so I just got these three, uh, which I'm really interested in. And I've heard good things and it's by the Toff, so, you know why the frig not uh then my pre-order of the bone splindle by bone splindle the bone spindle by leslie vedder came in um again i think is this sleeping beauty i can't fucking remember um it's a retelling and it sounds really good so why not i love retelling uh, and then the final book that I have to tell you about is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, um, which finally came in from Waterstones. I have two copies of this one because I ended up buying one from Amazon and then forgot to cancel my pre-order from Waterstones. So this is my Amazon one and this is my Waterstones one and I think I actually prefer the Waterstones one, the shiny cover. Although this would go with my... I don't know to be perfectly honest maybe I'll keep them both who the fuck knows um so yeah now I have two copies of this but I'm really looking forward to it I've heard incredible things so far so really looking forward to it again adding to my Colleen Hoover shelf which I'm hyped for so yeah that's everything I don't know how many books that is let me just uh, give that a quick count and I'll come back to you a little longer than a few minutes later okay so just in a, did a quick count and that was 76 books <laughs> which is a phenomenally lot of books phenomenally phenomenal phenomenal amount of books phenomenally a lot of books a lot of books considering um we just had christmas and my birthday so but thank you to every single 
publisher and person that sent me something i really do appreciate it i have gone a little bit wild treating myself as well recently but i again have been going through a really tough time and i do tend to do this when i'm struggling i tend to treat myself whether it be books or clothes it's been a combination of the two recently um but i do have the money spare to be able to do it so um you know why not um but yeah uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these what would you recommend I prioritize <laughs> I'm trying to prioritize uh, sequels obviously um, but I am very excited about all of these and I'm just so incredibly grateful to everybody that sent me something so thank you so so much again I know I've already done that and I thank you like a million times in the video already but thank you so so much I really do appreciate it um I appreciate it more than you'll ever know and I hope you have enjoyed this video again I will leave a link to Alcrate Junior in the description box down below if you want to check them out please feel free to do so um but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one bye for now